What's going on my fellow knights? My name is Gallant Gaming. Welcome back to my channel. Today we're back in Fazbear's Animatronic Factory Roleplay revamp in Roblox. And Update 2 is finally out, which includes a bunch of brand new badges that I'm going to show you how to get in this video. But before we get started, make sure you're subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to get the badges all the way from Alex the Hare to uh, Fetch. And then I'm going to show you how to get the three secret characters that I found. There might be a couple more, but I don't know if there is. So, Alex the Hare, let's go ahead and head to the map. Sorry, this video might be all over the place, but I do want to get the badges in the order that they are in the game. Uh, so, Alex the Hare is first. So, when you're looking at the pizzeria right here, you want to go left. And you'll see this bush right next to the parking lot. It has a little hat behind it. All you got to do is run up and touch it. And the badge will be yours. Easy peasy. So, for the next badge, uh, the Rick and Rolling badge, we want to stay at the pizzeria. And we're going to go inside. And to get this badge, you want to go all the way over here to the backstage area. And you want to start looking behind this generator. Because there is a tiny little area you can squeeze through if you hug the wall like this. So to do that, you have to look at the wall and just slide down. And you'll get back here. And you can already sort of see it. It's the man, the legend himself. The Rick, the Rick Rolling Master. Uh, all you gotta do is run over here and you'll get it. And there is a lever behind here. Uh, you wanna click that so it's sideways. This will help us get a badge a little bit later. Now the next two are Donna the Dragon and Forbidden Friendly Foe. But unfortunately those two aren't available right now. So we can't get them sad face. So, you know that little lever we just pulled in there? That is going to help us get since 1983. Uh, so, after you pull the lever, you want to go ahead into the kitchen, which is right over here. And if you pull the lever, you'll see that this little door is open. Now, this doesn't give you the badge, but it gives you the code to get in the room in spawn. Which, I mean, you don't technically need... Because the code is literally in the badge name, 1983. But we're going to reset and we're going to go back to the spawn. And once you're here, you want to go towards the map. And you'll see a little code door right here. All you got to do is click it. 1983 plus. The door opens and it's time for some parkour. I hope you got your obby shoes on because you're going to need them, ladies and gentlemen. This isn't the hardest obby in the world, uh, but it can be a little tricky. So these platforms are going to move. And, uh, okay. All right, now we have to jump all the way over there. So, whoo. Oh, I just missed. Oh, no. All right, I definitely missed that. But that is the last jump you have to do. Uh, once you're on that platform, you'll see the head that's there. You know what? I'll, I'll try it again. 1983. Let's try it one more time. Uh, I already have the badge, so I don't really have to worry about it. Uh, but it is pretty easy if you're not awful at parkour and obbies like myself, that is. Uh, so maybe first person? Uh, I don't know about first person. Hold on. I think I got it. I think I got it. Huh. Nope, I didn't get it. But anyway, that is the last jump you got to do right there. So all you got to do is touch the head, okay? That's it. That's all you got to do. Uh, the next badge is the Summer Event. You get this badge just by joining the game right now. I don't know how long that'll last, so you got to make sure you get it now. And the next badge is Vanny. This badge is over in the map, but it is at the bottom of the ocean. So I'm going to show you the easiest, fastest way to get it. You want to head to the map, and we're going to go directly to this tunnel here. You can tell it's the correct tunnel. Uh, if you're facing the pizzeria, turn around, and it's right here. So we're going to go through this, and there will be an ocean. And all we got to do is run all the way to the opposite wall. 
So I am going to speed this part up so we can get there a tiny bit faster. All right, now that we're finally at this wall, like I said, the Vanny Badge is at the bottom of the ocean. So you want to hug this wall, jump down, and we're going all the way to the bottom. And it's important that you hug the wall because it is very easy to get lost in here because of how deep and large this water zone is. This ocean, I guess you could say. Uh, so we are heading down still. Uh, it is very, very big. We're still going down. Don't worry. I know it's a little confusing. Uh, we're going to head straight to the ground. We're still hugging the wall. And now that we're at the ground, we're going to go straight back. So if you're looking at it from an aerial view, the badge is in the top left-hand corner of the ocean, all the way at the bottom. Uh, so we're going to swim all the way there. There is no physical thing there to show you that's where the badge is all you got to do is swim into the corner and you'll get the badge right here i do already have the badge so it won't pop up for me but just swim into this corner and you will get the badge all right the next badge is circus baby this badge is in the spawn as well so to get it all you want to do is go towards the map room again and we're going to go in the fan art section right here and the badge is right over here, actually. It's right around the corner. There it is. It's right there. So you head in the fan art room. You make a left. Make another left. And it's right here. Just run up and step on it. And the badge will be yours. Now for the final badge, the fetch badge. We want to head to the map. And we're going to head towards this corner right over here. So if you're looking at the pizzeria, go across the road. And we're going to go straight up towards the mountains through the trees. And the badge is going to be right on that little wall there. You can kind of already see it. It's like a little bone. Get it? Because Fetch is a dog? I get it. I think it's pretty clever. So all you got to do is jump up here and step on the bone. And the badge will be yours. Congratulations! We just got all of the new badges in the game. Now I'm going to show you where to get the three secret characters that I found as well. Uh, these aren't badges and they're not, you know, anything crazy, but uh, why not? Why not, right? They're secret characters, so I'm going to show you them. Uh, the first one is over here in the pizzeria. For this one, you want to head into the kitchen and we're going to go into the, uh, into the pizzeria. Now it's in the kitchen. Sorry, I got a little ahead of myself. So we're just going to go straight back, go into the kitchen, and you can tell it's a secret character because of this extra little black square. So you want to step on it, and look at that! Look at it! We got a little, we got an extra character! Isn't that great? I think it's pretty cool. Alright, let's go ahead and reset so I can show you the other two as well. Alright, for the next secret character, we're going to head back into the pizzeria, and we're going to go into the supply closet this time. So, let's go to the map, to the pizzeria, and we're going to make a right. We're going to jump over this, pardon me, and we're going to go in the right hallway this time and make another right right here. And the badge, or the secret character, is right here. And there you go, it's Purple Man. It's Purple Man himself, everybody. There he is. Fantastic. Also, I did want to point out the art in this place is very nice uh we got sands we got chica dabbin we got digi and myself easter eggs uh look that's me that's who i am right now crazy uh then over here we got a very interesting piece of art uh, i'm not gonna spend too much time on this because i do want to show you the last one but oh, look it's circus baby that's great all right let me let me reset one more time to show you the final secret character Again, I don't know if this is all of them, but they're the only three I was able to find while doing my badge hunt. So, for the final one, you want to head to the map again. This time, we're not going in the pizzeria. We're going to turn around and go towards the tunnel. So, it's the same tunnel that you went to for the Vanny badge. 
where the ocean is. Again, if you're looking at the pizzeria, turn around. And instead of going through the tunnel, you're going to go to the left. And you'll see the little black square again. Step on it and you get uh, this thing. Isn't that great? <laughs> I, uh, I think it's pretty cool. So there you go. That is all of the badges and all of the secret characters in the game so far that I know of. So thank you guys for watching. But I'm going to show you the morphs you get now for getting the badges. So stick around if you want. I'd appreciate it. Alright, so I don't think everyone has a badge morph. Uh, so I guess we'll start with Alex the hair. Why? Why did that kill me? I have the badge. What? What? Are, what's going on here? I swear I have the badge. Uh-oh. Alright, the Alex the hair keeps killing me for some reason, even though I have the badge. So instead, we're going to show the Rick and Rolling one. You get Bread Bear. Oh, look at the way he jumps. He, like, belly flops into the ground. Why does he do that? Uh, oh, it has a screams option. But, of course, I have sounds off, so we can't hear him. There's a jump scare, a twitch. Uh, we have a deactivated. Oh. Uh, we have... Wait, what is that? What is he doing with that hand? You stop it, Bread Bear. Uh, we have a deactivate and a perform. And there he is, everybody. Everybody's favorite, Bread Bear. <laughs> Very weird. Very weird animatronic. Well, at least we have a fast way to reset now, so that's kind of cool. I, I'm a fan of that. Alright, like I was saying, not every badge has a morph. Uh, so, I guess the next one we'll do is since 1983, we get... Oh, what is... What is this? Oh, what, what are all those green dots? What is this thing? That looks really cool. Uh, does it have the name? CD1? I don't know what that means, but uh, we have a jump scare. We have a twitch. I deactivated sit, a deactivate, and a perform. That's really cool. If you guys know what this is or what it's from, definitely let me know in the comments uh, because I have no idea. Also, I don't know what I did, but I can't move. So I'm going to reset the old-fashioned way. And we'll move on to the next animatronic. The next one is the Summer Event Badge. Again, you get this just for joining. It's summertime, Freddy. He's got his boogie board or a surfboard, his swim trunks, and his sunglasses. He is ready to go. Does have a bunch of voice lines, it looks like. Uh, then we have Jump Scare. We have a Twitch. Oh, what is that? He's so happy. Uh, we have a Deactivated Sit. A deactivate and a perform. Oh, the, the boogie board's kind of cutting him in half, but we're not going to worry about that. Then we have a power out. I don't I don't know what that means, but it does sound pretty cool nonetheless. All right, let's go ahead and... Uh, it's faster just to reset. I didn't realize how slow he walked. I was going to reset by running into the door, but I guess it's just not meant to be. All right, the next one is Vanny, of course. I stopped going in the order that I got the badges. And now I'm just going in the door order because it, it's easier, okay? Hey, there's Vanny. Very nice. It looks like they based this Vanny off of the teaser that uh, Funko released. Hashtag rip Funko FNAF deal. Uh, so uh, there is a voice line nightmare mode tune. Ooh, that's really cool sounding. Uh, but we have a jump scare. Oh, Look, her, look at her eyebrows. She gets so angry. Ah! Uh, then we have a Twitch, a Deactivated Sit, a Deactivate, and finally a Perform. And there you go. There's Vanny. Look how happy she is. Look how happy. That's great. And there is Vanny for you guys. All right. Let me reset again. I think we only have two more left that we haven't checked out. So we're going to do those now. Circus Baby first, and then Fetch. I'm really excited to see Fetch. I'm not going to lie to you guys. All right, so here is Circus Baby. Very nice. She's got really big arms and hands. She working out? Circus Baby, you working out? She's getting swole. Anyway, we have a jump scare, a twitch. Oh, she's angry. We have a deactivated sit, a deactivate, and a perform. Just like all the other ones. Oh, look at that. That's so sweet. 
Very nice, very nice animations. And I really like the way the animatronics look. They're very unique to the game, and I like that a lot. All right, so the final morph is Fetch. The dog from the books. Let's see what he looks like. Oh, look, that looks really good. Oh, look at that. He does a flip. It's Flipsy. It's Flipsy the dog, everybody. That's great. That's so cool. It also has a bark sound as well. Uh, then we have a jump scare. We have a twitch. A deactivated sit. A deactivate. And a perform. And there you go. So that is how you get all the new badges in the game and even some secret characters sprinkled in there too. So I'm going to end this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and a comment down below. And of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss any of my daily videos. And whenever you're buying Robux, use star code Gallant. And finally, my back item and my helmet are both available in the store now. So if you want to grab them, the links are down below. All right, that's it for me. I will see you all next time. Bye.